My name is Jonah Mario. I run an enterprise that did some fringe. Our product is very wonderful. It's good, it's bottomless, it's debt free, and it's long lasting. The shelf life of our product is very, very good. And actually, why we ventured into this business is because of the gap we saw in the market. You know, I come from a place called Bayelsa and we are abundantly blessed with this natural seafood. Uh, but this product is not even available where it is produced for the people of the produce because here. Yeah. So uh, they gave me uh, they gave me concern for me to go into the harvesters of this product. So what I found out in my interaction with them was that there are people who come to complain this from them. Okay, and when I came to the oven in the garden, in the two places in the capital city of Lyons State. I also saw that this product that is abundantly available there in the locals is, is very expensive. So the question is, why should crayfish, a natural uh, uh, resource that God has blessed the Niger Delta, will become as expensive as the fuel we are battling uh, with to reduce its price? So I also discovered that this is something I need to do. So what we do is to go into the market, we test what the water is doing, we test the water spout, we're going to get it in small scale, in the bit of solving this problem. And we make these products available in a variety of scales. You can get the one of 50 naira, 200 naira, 100 naira, as the case may be. And we also find out when we get to the open markets, like the Swala market, the Pansha market, everywhere you go to buy a fish, you see that pests are you know, flies are fish, fetching of it, and this gives me health concern. I'm not a health practitioner anyway. But then, why would people be consuming things that are not healthy? So I also looked at it. So and what I did was to see how to make these products that we are naturally endowed with to be safe for consumption, make its shelf life elongated. By preserving it, and I did my research, and the, one, the only thing that came up to mind was to see how to go into uh, packaging of this product, and that is what we do. And there are some persons as well too who don't really have the time to go to the market to get this. These are busy working class like bankers, the engineers, those teachers who are going to school to come back later with people. So that is what we intend doing, and we want to really uh, meet their demand. And what we do, actually because of our product is odorless, you can put it as a woman, you can put it in your phone, your handbag, as a man you can put it in your pocket, you can walk around public places without being embarrassed. How about that? And how about those fish farmers? The byproduct of this our product is also a feed uh, uh, element to the fish farmers as well too. Because we do sorting and the dust that comes out of it, we sell it out in kilos to those who are fish farmers. So actually, what we are doing, it is not enough. It is not enough. And that is why you are not seeing a product in the market as it ought to be. We intend to go into medium scale. And what it will cost us actually is about 850,000 naira for processing and packaging and preservation. So as to get this product, get to your doorpost, all of you listening to, by just putting a call to us. Thank you.